Well, tonight's Living Large takes us to a home that has an art collection more valuable than the entire sale price of the house. And they call Billy Joel their neighbor. CBS 2's Emily Smith takes us to Oyster Bay. This home at one steamboat landing has a nautical theme built along Oyster Bay Harbor. Hi, I'm Emily. Hi, Eileen Merstein, Douglas Elliman. Co-listing with Molly Grossman. Giant floor-to-ceiling windows look to Billy Joel's Center Island home, making him your across-the-water neighbor. It really has the modern feeling of space and height and light, and I think it's very contemporary. What they had in mind was to house their art collection. Every piece is prominent. Picasso's. If you caught it. The homeowner has a two-story office. And what is all of this? It's like leather. Leather. We're on our way to my favorite room, which is the breakfast room. Okay. And this has phenomenal views of the waterfront. The chef's kitchen is minimalist with granite floors. We toured the upstairs with Molly Grossman, where you'll find seven bedrooms, including the master suite. And everything is, was blue to remind them of the water. Beautiful, beautiful deck to enjoy the sound. You want to see the sitting room? Let's see the sitting room. It has skylights above, just adding extra light. Mm -hmm. And then I see over here we have a gym. Not a bad place to work out. You also have a beautiful sauna. I could sure use this to stay warm right now. The lower level has a home theater specifically designed to look like Radio City Music Hall, including a mini stage and a wine tasting room that connects with a temperature controlled wine cellar. To live large in Oyster Bay Cove, it will cost you $14,500,000. <laughs> That's a lot of money. If that's not enough, folks. <laughs> Emily didn't mention the guest house and a private dock as well included in there that price. Have. And now you know where Billy Joel lives. <laughs> I know. I'm sure he's glad we mentioned that. <laughs> Sorry, Billy. Okay.